Hello there, my name's Carlo, and welcome to another video. Um, this is going to be a fun um, little video, um, and what we're going to be doing is just having a look at some really cool presets um, within Element 3D. Um, so we're just going to open up After Effects first. Let that load up. I thought this might be a fun video to do, just to show some of the cool presets um, in um, optical flares, some in the Metropolitan Pack, some Pro Shaders. Because I think they're rather cool. Okay, so we're in After Effects, and in order to be able to open um, your Elements Pack, we need to create a new composition. To go layer new solid so let's create a solid let's stick a black one over there like that and then we need to go to effects video copilot and elements so we'll have a quick look at elements first um, when you fire up elements you click on scene setup and this is elements so i've got a couple of um, really cool uh, packs here which I find rather useful and I've got some cool elements um, in a backup folder which um, I'll show you in a sec but this is basically all your pro shaders so we've got some really nice pro shaders so let's let's just get a model up um, so when you get elements you get a 3d starter pack like this so let's just get say for instance a can of coke so there's a can of coke here diet cola I should say and um, we can add some light into this so we can make it look like it give it a cinema look so this is just a video just showing you some really cool elements really cool uh, 3d models within 3d elements so if we wanted to use different pro shaders all we do is drag and drop and we can look at some really nice shaders that's like a tar effect. Let's bring the brightness up so we can bring the brightness up as well so we can have a bit of sun. Let us see bronze. Bronze is quite nice. Nice effect. There's some really nice um, textures in this pack. Guys, really, really nice. It's well worth the money. We've even got some organics. We've got fog skin in. Very, very nice, very nice elements in this, and some very nice textures. The Pro Shader Pack is available from Video Copilot um, as an optional plugin that you can buy, but it's very worth it. Stone, it's worth it every penny. Very, very nice. Also, got the Metropolitan Pack, as probably a lot of you guys know, so let's get um, a building. And we can put some textures on there. Zoom in. So we can add our textures to our building so you can have a look at some amazing 3D objects. We have a very, very bricky building there. The cool thing about this is that you can edit everything within elements um, and get it ready to basically import it to After Effects. So it's, a, it's like a miniature Cinema 4D really without the creation part of it which is cool but the textures are absolutely amazing so we've got um, things like this some very very beautiful buildings here uh, let's go to cinema This is the part I think they've got no antennas, but if we go to this one with the antennas, let's select this building. As you can see, we've got some really amazing detailed antennas on these buildings. Um, you can also have an environment so you can play around with your lighting, chromatic. Um, 
really nice stuff, really, really lovely. Zoom in, look at the detail on that, that is just incredible. Okay, so that's elements. Um, got some primitive, just quickly show you this, got some prim primitive basic um, things here. So we've got like, um, zoom out, because I've got a background on it. We've got these, these are really good for like creating meteors and stuff like that. So we can get a, a ground object and just fling that on top. You know, some really cool rocks and stuff like that. So always play around with this if you've got this pack. It's very worth it. It's worth it. You know, you can create some very, very cool space. Spacey sort of textures. Meteors, meteor effects and stuff like that. Okay, so we just come out of here. Oh, no, I don't want to save it. So let's go to effect, we don't have to create a new composition anymore, and we go into optical flares. Same sort of scenario, what you want to do is just come up here, click on options, and it'll bring this up as well, and this is very similar to elements, um, but this is just based on optical flares really. So we've got our custom, custom objects here, all the custom bits, some really nice optical flares these guys really nice um, let's go back to presets go back uh, we've got some lights here just click on them and then you can just move them around change your colors your density you know you can show your background so if you've got a, a, a video in the background you can just click on that um, so you can see what you're working on as well really cool stuff here let's go back back we've got some pro presets here we've got pro presets there so we've got some really nice stuff in there some really really awesome effects um you know things like the sort of transformers effect there we've even got um what would you use this for Ooh, night rider very cool very cool very beautiful presets uh, so let's go back up to the top, scroll up, go back, I've got 50 more pro presets here, I mean these ones are just breathtaking, these presets here, you, you can, the creativity, you can, things you can make with these is just unreal, you know, some really nice stuff, so that's um, optical flares, and I was say actually I forgot to show you in um, Elements. Uh, so let's go back to Effects, let's go Video Copilot Elements. I've got this pack where, um, let's go back up to stock because you can also import objects as well. So if I go to Import, I've got to try and remember where I put them now. external drive let's just kick it in because it's been dormant um, let me just try and find where I put this pack um, definitely not in here um, where do I put it? Is it my desktop? no documents can't remember where I put it guys show that next time. Um, some of my mouse still starts. Um, I've got so much stuff on this computer guys, I've really got to organise it <laughs> a little bit better. Um, these are all my models, my model premieres, starter pack. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video for a second and then come back because I've got to remember where I've put this. <laughs> Two seconds. Okay, so I found out where my models are. Um, so what we do is with Elements open, I'm just going to go and pull. I've placed it on my desktop. Um, uh, with my weapons. And these come in multiple file formats. So you can literally, um, if I just change this to um, that, um, they come in um, Mudbox files. 
DJ files, and it can be opened in Cinema 4D as well. Um, but I always open it in there. So um, let me find something funky. Let's get a sidewinder, and then all we do is we import double click, and then the sidewinder, as you can see, is in um, elements. So I can select a material, for instance. Um, and drop that material on top of the bucket and let's bring the brightness up let's put some more look and as you can see we've got a rocket um, we've got others as well so if I go to import let's go to 45 millimeter um, we've got our brightness too high so we'll bring our brightness down on that right down Can add, add a nice black to that. Amazing modeling, amazing, absolutely incredible. But the easy thing about this, once you've picked what you want, um, stylize it, um, have it dramatic. All you have to do now, actually, let's change the cinema. All you have to do once you've selected it is click OK. Give it a couple of seconds. And it should load it into um, After Effects. So what you want to do is, because this is just a static image, we need to uh, basically um, create a camera. So we're going to go to Layer, New, Camera. Keep it set as the same. And this is how you get the object 3D. Then we come up to this camera here. Use Unidentified Camera. And we've got a rocket, I haven't got to go up because obviously, yeah, I've just I've got to add a new composition. Um, but as you can see, we've got a 3D rocket, like so. And all you have to do is just click on the camera, press the position, click the time frame, move it on. So how long you want it to be. That's it, we've got a bit of a animated rocket like that. Like so. Or if you want, if you click on the dark, hit position key again, hit keyframe, bring it over. Remember to select your tool like that. And then bring it off the side. But this is good for so you can add a background to this for instance. So if I go to file, import file, um, or you can add your, your movie to this as well. I'll go to my desktop. I've already got one here. It's that created earlier, so we'll add that to the equation. Get that load up. And all we do is bring, drag and drop. And you can still select your position like that. You can rotate it as well. Obviously, the rotation is using your camera, so always remember to use your camera tool to rotate. So when you play, you've got to add it as well, obviously. But what I'll do is let's go and select. This and join it to this, and then we should be able to render it out. But the, the, the picture is quite short anyway. Let's lengthen the picture out. See, so yeah, the, the video is very short. Um, right, so let's take this away actually and just have a normal picture. Let's go file, import. I should have a picture as well. Okay, so let's import the picture, drop it into position. We should be able to, because obviously that's not. Let's get rid of these keyframes to give a rough idea. So let's get rid of these keyframes. I've got the um, 
Action Essentials pack as well. So if you've got something like this, it's always good to have the um, Essentials pack as well. Let's just put that into position here. Um, just select this. Right, so we've got that selected. Pay on your cable. Pay on your cable, create a position. Bring that over. How many frames you want? Drag that so it looks like it's actually here. Here. the building. I'm just trying to go try and um, show you how to add an optical flare. So let's import something. Um, what can we have? Let's have from a handgun. So let's get the handgun out. Um, there's, I'm not going to. Sorry, I'm not going to add an optical flare. I'm going to add add a pack to it, um, which is my um, action essentials pack. So let's put that gun and let's go to presets. Let's add a texture to it. So I'll open my pre shader pack. Let's go to metal and just give it black metal. Like that. Let's change the lighting. Cinema and then just click OK. Let's get rid of this one first. So let's uh, try again. Need to add a new composition. Effects. So new solid. So about if this is a bit all over the place, you can see it's ten past one in the morning, and I should be asleep, but I'm not. Video Copilot. Right, let's go back to elements. Set to scene. Let's get a handgun. Um, right, I thought we were going to be a Look at that, that's wicked. Right, let's get a preset, let's drop a metal. Uh, let's go black steel. Alright, so we've got a gun here. Alright, so let's see if we can add a little effect to this, okay? So these are the sort of things you can do. So we've got our handgun in elements. So like before, we're going to go to layer new and we're going to create a camera. Keep it all the same settings for now, like so. And then we're going to put it in position like this. And let's import our gun. So I can find it this time, eh, hey guys? So I should have it in my video co-pilot collection. Um, action Essentials 2. I've got Axiom Essentials 1 and 2. Because I've got some really awesome stuff and it's all 720p as well. So we've got shells here as well. So we can add that to... Um, just to give you a little look. So we can have this coming out of the gun if we wanted, but I don't want that. Let's go to explosions. Um, fireball, fireball. Um, let's open this up a bit. So we can actually see it. And let's go to. So you can tell I'm tired, isn't it? This is an easier way of doing it. You can just scroll, scroll through the fireball. There should be a gun. At, what do I show it to? What do you reckon, guys? Fireball wide. Alright, so we don't want a fireball, so we might have the wrong pack over here. So let's go back and find my. Essentials one. So we've got ball, puzzle hold. This is what I'm looking for. Muzzle flash. Right, so let's go back to our slide mode. So we've got nine millimeter here. So we'll have some of that. So we'll import that. Get that. Drop that at the bottom. And as you can see. 
it's just there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate this like so. I mean these are the sort of things you can do with this, do you know what I mean? Which makes it really cool. Put it here. So as you can see it's just very small this model flash. So we just need to bring our thing here. So let's bring it to about there. So when we come, bang. All these packs are available um, to purchase from this website. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, it's a very, very good uh, good site. Um, this guy's a genius. Um, so, in general, we've had a look at this. 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 Um, the other packs I ain't got yet because um, I've got these two packs here, which is combined. So, as we just see again, I've got this one, that one. So we've got this one, this one we've had a look at, we've had a look at the Pro Shaders pack, we've had a look at the Projectile pack, um, we've had a look at Optical Flares, Action, action uh, Essentials 2 and 1, the Pro Presets, so let's have a quick look at that in detail. This is the one which I'm going to get next, this is the Flight Kit, this looks absolutely incredible. Right, so in detail, we've had a look at these three, which is probably an amazing pack, these, these three on their own. Um, we've had a look at this one here, projectile weapons. Um, if you're in Britain like me, um, this is a very trusted site, trust. Um, so when you're purchasing from here, you can purchase in, um, in reassurance that you're going to get your products right if you're in the UK. This is an absolutely blinding website. This is the one that I want to get, like Jetpack. And I will probably get that tomorrow. Um, so stay tuned for a full on tutorial on that. Um, it looks amazing. Um, I'll just give you a quick look. Um, I've got a product demo video, so I'll just give you a quick look here. This is um, Andrew Kramer. That's absolutely. This looks awesome. If you want to finish looking at this video, I'd highly recommend that you go to this website here um, and start collecting these packs because they're really, really worth it. Um, so yeah, that's it for my little run of elements. Um, Hope to see you again in the next video. Thanks for all your support, guys, for, subscri for subscribing to me and um, viewing my videos. I really appreciate it. I'll see you again.